Here we go. So welcome to the first uh, live session I've done as far as 2019. I see Coach Shelley joined us and we've got Q on the line. Nina will be joining us back in just a few moments. Um, I can see you in the live chat as well as the chat on Facebook. So if you have questions as we go through this live, I'm excited to answer for you. So here we are. It is uh, the second, third week here almost of 2019. And I hope that you guys have put some great goals into place financially. And so I'm hoping today to kind of expand on that. And how do we get through 2019? And I want to share, you know, I've been really adamant, really focused this last 90 days about honestly just picking the brains of clients that I have that are millionaires and just other millionaires that I know that are out in the marketplace and really just what makes a significant difference on how they got from where they started, you know, in the beginning to today. And so my goal today is to really share some of those nuggets. Hi, I see Coach Colleen joined us to really share some of those nuggets um, when I'm talking today. And so ultimately the goal is is really to get you ready and prepared and honestly on fire for what 2019 has to offer i think everybody has um an innate nature uh to set some goals but then what happens is we kind of fall off a little bit and really we you know by january 3rd 31st, we're like, oh, you know, I'm not so much into it. Our goal is to keep you on fire all year long to help you achieve and really accomplish those goals. So I'm excited for what we're going to do today. And I really want you guys to be able to ask questions. You are our elite and premium members. So I really want to make sure I'm giving you as much information that I possibly can to have you be as successful as possible when it comes to your financial planning. So I'm gonna talk about four points today. We're gonna to just jump right on in. It is lunchtime. Hopefully you've got some lunch in front of you. I'm doing um, the keto, so I'm you know I'm drinking some coffee, keeping my metabolism going all day, and um, and then we're gonna walk through that. People set really strong goals at the beginning of the year, generally in three areas: um, definitely in health and wellness. Um, they definitely set it in financials and a lot of times family. Family is the other area that usually gets a strong goal. And so I see, you know, we've got a few more people that joined you, us. So I want to welcome you to our live session for our elite and premium CEO Chick members. Thank you. I'm Coach Christina. So I'm just glad everyone was able to join us um, today. For those of you who don't know me or know my story, um, I didn't come from money. I didn't, um, you know, just wake up one day and was wealthy. That's not what happened for me. I just probably like many of you came from um, a family that, you know, we made some money, but it wasn't, we didn't talk about it too much. We didn't really get involved too much with it. And so I like to share that with you guys sometimes because it's really a process going from point A to point Z. It's a process. It is just, I started learning some principles that I put into play and then I use those principles and I've expounded on them year after year in order to put myself into a much better financial position. And so my hope and goal is to impart what I've learned through these years, what I hear as I'm sitting with my clients and as I sit with colleagues who are, you know, multimillionaires for, for lack of better wording, um, that I really want to give you those insights that they're giving me and then the same strategies I've used throughout the years. And so hopefully as you go into your business in 2019, not only your business, but even your personal financial goals, you start setting yourself up for a much, much better position. And you've really got to look for those opportunities. So let's start with the, the things I want to break down today. And then I'm going to open it up for some questions at the end. And um, so please write down your questions as I'm going through. And at the end, I'll open it up so that way we can answer it um, as we're going through. So four things I want to talk about today is that number one, uh, let, me, let me give you the four points first. So first, we're going to break it down. Okay, so write that down as point number one. Break it down. Okay. Point number two, put the brakes on. Put the brakes on. Yeah, y'all are, are in for a treat today. <laughs> number three, get your paperwork in order. Okay, get your paperwork in order. And then number four, body and money. Okay, I didn't think that they were coming to a health class today, but I want to answer that a little bit for some people. So four points, break it down, put the brakes on, get your paperwork in order, and your body, your, your body and money. Okay, those are the four points we're going to hit today. So let's start with the beginning, break it down. Okay, so a lot of times when I start talking with people, I, I say oftentimes you got to really decide, you know, where you're at today to figure out where you're going, right? 
but people will give me their goals. Like I want to, I want to reach a million dollars, right? Or, or maybe for you, it's just, I want to hit $10,000 in my business, right? I want to hit $10,000 this month in my business. Let's talk about how to break it down. You can't just say, I'm going to hit $10,000 and overnight it's going to happen like that. You've got to use some nuggets and put some things in place that help you achieve that $10,000. So let's kind of break, let's talk about that. If you've got a large goal out there, I want you to literally start stepping back and breaking it up into small steps that you can achieve on either a daily basis or a weekly basis that's going to help you achieve your goal. Okay. If you have a goal and I'll, again, I like to be transparent. So in my business, I have a goal of going from a production of roughly $40,000 a month to $50,000 a month. Okay. So that is my production goal. If I've got to, if I've got to do a $10,000 increase monthly in my business, I literally did an evaluation. The first thing I did is I evaluated where's my revenue coming from. Okay. So the reason I evaluated that is because I needed to know where the money was coming in from. So that way I can focus my efforts in the right place. It makes no sense for me to focus on A if B is bringing in all the money, okay? Not that A is not gonna get done, A will get done, but B is where the money is coming in, so I need to focus some efforts in that area. So I broke it down to weekly. That means $2,500 every week. Then I broke it down daily. Okay, that's $500 a day. How am I going to generate $500 a day in revenue each and every day? That is something I can attain. Me saying $10,000 a month is one thing. Me saying $500 a day is something completely different. So break it down into small steps, okay? If it's a savings goal that you have out there, maybe you're deciding, you know what, I want to save $1,000 a month. And I'm putting some big numbers out there because you guys need to start thinking big numbers. And, and that's just the bottom line. We got to start thinking bigger to achieve bigger right? Somebody with me on that? Think bigger to achieve bigger. We got to start putting numbers out there that are, you know, that are attainable. A lot of times people will say, well, I don't know I'm gonna, how I'm going to save $500 a month or $1,000 a month. Well, here's what you do. You got to cut things out of your budget. You got to do some things in order to make that happen because they guarantee you if you needed to come up with the money today for some emergency, or anything like that, you could find it. So we're just doing that in advance to make sure you're well prepared. So really break it down. Focus on the small steps in order to, to hit your bigger goals. Um, I want some of you, I know I were in the class here today. There's a couple of you guys online with me. Um, some of y'all put out there, what's some of your bigger goals? What's some of the, I see Kenya's on, I see Q's on, Shelly, Colleen. What is some of your bigger goals that you have out there? Um, and you could just type those in the chat. I want to just kind of see what are some of those bigger goals that you're trying to accomplish um, that you really know that you need to break down into smaller steps? And I'm pulling up the, the chat so everybody can see me and everybody, I can see everybody's writing those different things. Break some of those things down. As, as y'all type them in, I'm going to come back to it. But as you type them in, there's definitely, you want to break those things down into small steps so that you can achieve it. Okay. Here's the next thing. So the next um, number two that I wanted to put on the list is, Put the brakes on, right? So sometimes people ask, you know, hey, you know, I feel like um, I could do this, but I got I got this going on and that going on. Sometimes you just have to put the brakes on things, okay? So, you know, a couple of years ago, I read this article about $0 days. Has anybody read that article, $0 days? So it's where you go an entire day without sending, without spending any money. Okay, so I know sometimes that seems like an easy task, but realistically, walk through your day for a second. You know, do you get up in the morning? Do you, on the way into work, do you, you know, grab a cup of coffee? Or like today is one of my zero dollar days, I'm making coffee in my office <laughs> because I don't need to, to spend extra money at Starbucks when I can, you know, use my money right here. Zero dollar days. So I even have zero dollar days in my business, meaning we have things going on all the time in our, our biz, my business. So I'm using mine as an example. We take time clients to lunch. We do different events. I've got marketing campaigns going. Every single day we have money going out usually for something. Okay. And so I have that same philosophy here in my office where some days are what we call zero dollar days. We just don't spend anything in that day. And it works on the business side and it works on your personal side. What it really does 
is it lets you mentally step back and take a break. When you, when you put those breaks on for the day, okay, it lets you mentally step back and say, hmm, what am I spending my money on each and every day? I, you know, on a typical day for me, I will get coffee. I usually go to lunch. I usually take a client to lunch with me. Um, on the way home, I might stop and do something. You know, uh, the kids may ask me for something. I mean, in my business, we may want to um, do a postcard flyer or something out to our clients. So I'm spending money for that. I literally can walk through a typical day and say, okay, here's where I'm spending this. Here's where I'm spending that. It is those, you know, they say a small leak can sink, can sink an entire ship. It's so true, okay? Those little things every day, right, that you're spending money on are the things that will add up at the end of the month and you'll realize, wow, I spent this much money on, you know, I, I'm an avid, I like Starbucks, you know, I, I tell people all the time, I love to go to Starbucks, I enjoy coffee from there. Um, so, you know, a lot of times I do, you know, I've, I've broken it down to, hey, you know what, I only go once a week now, it's a treat for me versus me going out every single day because, I could easily spend $5 every day at Starbucks, you know, five times 30 is $150 a month. That's a small, that's a, that's a retirement plan right there for somebody. Okay. So I saw Shelly put on here, her, one of her goals is retirement, right? So she needs to establish some sort of retirement fund. And in order to be able to do that, you know, she's going to have to break down her spending a little bit and see where the money is going versus going into her retirement fund. So I say that because, you know what, when I say put the brakes on, why that is so important, every single time I talk to a millionaire, it doesn't matter what the environment is, what we're doing, um, just different things. Every single time I talk to my clients and those sort of things, the number one thing that they tell me, the number one key to their success was being debt free. Okay, so why is that important to put the brakes on? Because you, you're, you're spending money all the time. It's going to be hard to break, a, to, to be able to be completely debt free. And I don't mean like a little bit debt free. A lot of these people have their homes paid for, their cars paid for. I'm, I'm talking about really just completely debt free um, from everything. If it's the number one way most millionaires are saying their number one key to success was being debt free, don't y'all think we have to stand up and listen? Because those people are already making it. They're trying to give us the resources in order to make it. So in order for that to happen, we have to really sit down and say, where is that money going on a regular basis? Put those brakes on. Start thinking about those $0 days and where am I spending my money and really not utilizing um, you know, every single day spending. Okay, You can do it. Believe me, I thought when I first got it, I was like, uh, I'm not sure. I mean, this probably shouldn't be too hard. Um, but you know what? I find myself, especially when I know that we we probably overspend or spend a little bit too much at a time, I will go through and go back to those zero dollar days. And I, you know, I re-implemented it at the beginning of this year. For, for those of you who follow me on Facebook or follow me in CEO Chicks, I've had a lot of changes in these last few months from, you know, I have my siblings are living with me at the moment. We bought a new house, a um, new vehicle, all those sort of things. So anybody that knows me knows that I don't like debt at all. I will do anything and everything to try to avoid debt. So as soon as January 1st rolled around, you know, we wrote a New Year's resolution in our household. We're going to do zero dollar days three times a week. That means everybody, not just me, me, my you know, fiance, my kids, everybody. On these three days, every single week, we can't spend any money. Okay. And they all know it and they're all, we bought into it as a family. So it really works well. And again, you got to do that across the board in order to, to kind of get yourself where you want to go. So the next step I want to hit is, you know, get your paperwork in order. So, you know, and I put that out there because everybody has different goals and things that they want to achieve. And so I know we have some corporate CEO chicks. I know we have some entrepreneurs in, in the CEO chick network. I know we have a combination of both, but really all of us are highly successful women that want to succeed in life. And so a lot of times that is going to require we go through our paperwork and get things in order. Okay, so I'm going to use Shelly again as my example because she, she wrote in the group that her goal is retirement. So, you know, when I talk to Shelly or when I talk with any of any of you out there, 
one of the questions I asked are what things, what steps have you put in place to make that happen? So retirement accounts require paperwork, right? So have you opened a retirement account? Have you signed the documents to get it started? Have you started an automatic draft into that retirement account? And again, just because you're, you know, if you're an entrepreneur, you should have a 401k or I'm sorry, a corporate uh, CEO chick, you should have a 401k at work something that you are saving into at a regular intervals. For those of you that are full on entrepreneurs, we have so many resources out there to save for your future. Retirement being one of those. You have individual retirement accounts, IRA accounts. There's Roth IRA accounts. You can put up to $6,000 a year into those accounts, okay? That's $500 on a monthly basis. In addition to that, um, if you're a small business owner and you're doing well and you're trying to look for ways to save on taxes and you've started working with like a CPA or your tax preparer, there's other type of accounts for small business owners that help you in that area um, and help you build a retirement. That could be a, a simple IRA, a SEP IRA, you could do a one person 401k, you could do a full out 401k for you and your employees, okay? For anybody that's new um, to entrepreneurship and you're just getting started, uh, again, I just recommend a simple IRA account just for you, get it started, you know, try to max it out every year, which is $6,000 a year. Um, for anybody that's much more established, maybe you are running a very successful business that's bringing in um, a substantial revenue, start looking at other avenues, SEP IRAs, simple IRAs, 401k plans, in order to be able to expand. These will allow, most of those will allow you to put in the neighborhood of $25,000 a year into them. Some of them even go up to almost $50,000 a year. So Again, depending on your level of saving, I know for me, I try to max out. I still, um, even though I'm an independent office with um, Edward Jones, we all still have our own um, 401k plan. So I try to max that out each and every year. Not only does it help me save on taxes, um, but in addition to that, I'm setting up myself for the future because I don't know about y'all, but I don't plan on working forever. I plan on being able to pass this on to the next generation at some point, and hopefully that's some of your goals too. So I want you to look at those things. Look at what you're contributing to retirement plans. Look at what you're contributing to your savings plan. I have um, a, a steadfast goal. So every year you should increase your savings by a minimum of 1%. And um, my goal is, is up to 3%. So meaning, here's the thing. When you're running a business, you're as an entrepreneur, you're trying to increase your revenue by a certain percentage year after year, okay? At least I hope you are, okay? And, and these are some bottom line numbers you have to look at. But if you look at your numbers last year, let's say you did revenue of $100,000 last year, okay? And this year you decide, all right, I'd like a 10, 15% increase in my business. So you're gonna take it from 100,000 to maybe 110 or 115,000. And I'm trying to use real numbers here for you guys so that you, because when I, again, when I talk to those people that are already making millions, that's what they do. They break it down to the real numbers. That's a ten to $15,000 increase in your business. Why can't you take 3% of that and save it towards your retirement? So your retirement gets 3,000 and you get to keep 7,000 or you know you can increase that if, you, if you've taken it up to 15. But are you putting those real numbers, those hard steadfast numbers into your savings plan to get you to where you want to go? Um, that's really what the bottom line is. And, and that's really comes down to that paperwork all being in order. Again, depending on what your savings goal is or depending on what your retirement plan goal is or depending on what your bottom line revenue goal is for your business, maybe that's where you want to focus right now. That's fine, but again, you've got to get it in paper. You know, you've got to look at your earnings report. You've got to look at your, um, your income and expenses report. You've got to look at those numbers to say, hey, here's where I'm at, here's where I want to be. And again, maybe you're completely new, maybe you're just starting. Some of the paperwork could be just getting yourself in a situation where you have those things aligned. So, hey, next year when we come around to this conversation again, you can say, hey, this is where my numbers are now. I did the, the proper paperwork this year to see that. Now I'm ready to step to the next um, level. Okay, everybody with me on that? All right. So then I want to go down. Um, oh, the last thing I wanted to mention here. So the other thing I wanted to talk about when it came to getting your paperwork in order. So for many of you, this is the first, well, this is the new year of the tax break, the tax breaks. So a lot of you are going to maybe be in a different tax bracket. Um, and if you're not in a different tax bracket, maybe for your business, uh, you're basically doing something different with your taxes for 2018 that you're going to be filing in 2019. 
2019. This year specifically, I'm going to tell everybody, this is probably the year that I would say, you know, you really want to meet with or talk with a professional when it comes to taxes this year. There's a lot of business law change or business tax changes. There's a lot of personal tax changes. Um, even for myself, I'm pretty astute of my taxes, but I, even when I brought my own taxes to my CPA this year, um, we're walking through things with fresh eyes because there are new breaks, new things that I can take advantage of that I want to make sure happen. So I want to encourage each and every one of you, please make sure you do that. Take the time in your business to seek out a professional like a CPA or a tax professional, a certified public accountant or a tax professional to be able to help you with the new tax law cuts. Okay. Again, that's part of getting that paperwork in order. You may not understand everything, but I want to make sure you're prepared um, for the changes that happened in 2018. All right. Hopefully it will result in you getting a little bit more money back. <laughs> All right. And then number four that I want to touch base on is body and money. So a lot of times people say, well, why did you need to kind of touch base on that? Because honestly, they go hand in hand and, and we don't realize it often, but they really do. See, as we get older, um, life can take a toll on you and you can forget um, to put yourself first, honestly. You know, y'all have heard me say over and over again, pay yourself first, right? And so whether it comes to your money, whether it comes to your body, you need to put those things first. And the, the truth of the matter, especially for women, because this is highly important for us, your health and your wealth, they're really intertwined. They, they match each other, okay? They're one in the end. Your health and your wealth are just, they're, they're really, um, really, important to each other, if I can say it that way. Losing one usually will mean that you'll lose the other, meaning a lot of times when I see, um, you know, people, you know, just kind of spiraling out of control financially, those sort of things, sometimes, you know, their health is very much related to that too. It could be, you know, something going on personally, those sort of things, but I say that because those things really have to go together. So if you're going to focus on your money or your finances being a priority this year, I don't want you to forget about putting yourself first too when it comes to revisiting your exercise habits or being more food conscious or just monitoring your health numbers. And again, you can seek doctors or professionals to help you if you feel like you, you want to go that, that route. But really they they go hand in hand i don't know about y'all but when i work out when i'm eating properly i feel like my body operates better my brain thinks better um and i know i'm not the only one and i know shelly's on the, the the line here she could probably attest to that when she's training and teaching people but i really want to say to that and why it's important is is that really when you're building um, your finances and when you're growing in your finances, you know, you really want to be sound, mind, body, soul, if I can say it that way. Because truthfully, doing those things, and, and again, I go back to my conversations when I sit with millionaires, my clients, those different things. You know, I can't tell you, I, I recently became a member of a, a local country club here in Orlando, Florida. And man, that, that gym in that country club is packed every single morning and every evening. And I'm not talking about these people make money. Money. They are very, very wealthy. Most of the homes in this community are two and a half million and up. Okay. And so they have substantially, you know, made wealth in their lifetime. But what I see constantly, and even as I talk to them, they get up every morning and they get that brain fuel going, as I can say, because it is all connected. It's all, I see you, Colleen, it's all attached and how we grow and how we develop. And so I don't want you to, to forget that when it comes to your finances, because a lot of times when you don't feel whole, when you don't feel like you've got it together, as far as, you know, mentally and physically, it's hard to focus on the money. It's hard to focus on where you're going to next. And the thing is, you know, this also goes back to branding. Just how you feel is going to be part of your brand, you know, and, and I can attest to this and I'm going to use my own personal story here for a second. You know, I passed, I go back, let's say, let me go back five to seven years here. You know, not that my business was, was doing okay. It was not struggling or anything like that. It was just kind of putting along, if I can say it that way. And, you know, honestly, I mean, I was 40 pounds heavier than I am right now. Um, I didn't put makeup on every day. I barely wanted to dress up, if I could tell you all that, because I didn't like the way I looked. And so that reflected in my everyday being, okay? And so I say that to say, 
you know what, when I started working out, when I started really thinking about how healthy I wanted to be, when I started getting more energy from the working out, it, you'll be amazed how much more productive I was in my business, which ultimately related to the bottom line. Sometimes my colleagues and, and you know, we, we share our numbers, everybody can, can see it um, here in my business. So when um when we talk and when we communicate they're amazed at how much i've you know strived or much i've grown in the last five years they're like what are you doing and truthfully all i did was get my health on track <laughs> okay which helped me to get a little bit more focused when i got more focused and more um regimented in my schedule my big business really began to to take off and um and truly i mean in five years i've doubled my production so you know how many of y'all would love for your business in the next five years to double to double what you're doing today okay you're making a hundred thousand a year that's two hundred thousand a year okay and you can do more than that don't get me wrong i still got a whole life um to live i got you know six seven kids in my house right now so i still have a lot going on and a lot of different things so i say that to say ultimately speaking is that you know you really want to be so you know sound in your body and with your money okay so let me kind of revisit those those four steps again because i don't want you to to miss them and then i'm going to break down a couple of more things okay so number one is break it down all right take that large goal that you have out there and break it down into small steps that you can actually achieve okay don't try to you know how they tell you to eat an elephant one bite at a time okay and so take that large goal and break it down to what can you achieve today towards that goal all right so if you're trying to hit a hundred thousand dollars in business this year how are you going to break that down into monthly numbers into weekly numbers and even to daily all right break it down put the brakes on okay sometimes you got to evaluate where your spending is and stop it okay and i literally mean just stop not you know when you're in a car and you hit the brake right you can gradually stop or you can slam on the brakes i'm telling you to slam on the brakes okay some days you have to slam on the brakes when it comes to your finances many days you may slow down okay and i understand that but some days you literally have to just slam on the brakes and come to a complete halt that will help you mentally review where your finances are and get them to a place where you want them to be okay if you need some strategies or some plans for that you guys know how to reach me definitely um, you can email the ceo chicks uh, network here and definitely uh, we can get you some good information in order to help you with that we have amazing coaches that help in all areas i can say that a million times over um, that will really help get you on track with that okay get your paperwork in order so if you've decided hey these are the things that i'm deciding i'm going to work on for 2019 what paperwork does that require in order to make it happen now i'm specifically talking about finances that could be in any area that you're trying to establish but if we're talking about finances that means retirement plan that means your income um, statements your loss statements um, your revenue statements all those things you want to be able to get that into real numbers um, via paperwork okay in order to make those things happen you got to see it okay the other thing is that um, i want you to talk um, think about your body and money okay body and money those go hand in hand they're very much intertwined but i don't want you guys to forget that because it's a huge part of your um, growth and your well-being for this year and where we're going to next i don't know about y'all but i just feel like this stirring this year in the beginning of 2019 it is it has been ominously overwhelming and all consuming in the sense that people are going to break through levels that they've never broken through before i mean there's like a ceiling that i feel like some of you guys feel like you've been under it is going to be shattered in 2019 and you're going to get to a whole new level and so i want everybody to be prepared for that as we as we really kind of launch this year i mean we've got our dominate conference coming up we've got you know so many good trainings that are already out there for you guys that i really hope you're taking advantage of and you're watching and you're definitely doing because 2019 is not going to be a year like no other it's really 
for me, I'm a, I'm a true believer and there are new seasons. And sometimes I feel them and sometimes I don't. But this year, this 2019, this has been a total new season. I was telling, even I had lunch with, um, with our you know, fearless leader, Coach Colleen, last week. And I was like, I just feel like this is such a transition. But it's, you know, I haven't even been able to put it in full words because the transition is coming so much. And so I say to each and every one of y'all, get ready. Now is the time to get ready. I'm giving you some nuggets. I'm giving you some points. But I can't tell you enough this is going to uh, you know it, it goes back to amos 9 if y'all don't know that verse look it up okay amos 9 so fast your head will spin come on blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings that is what i see 2019 looking like so i'm gonna say he's gonna move quickly i want each and every one of y'all to be ready as we move into this new season okay and the the, the thing i wanted to kind of impart into you as i kind of wrap up today is you gotta think bigger. I mentioned this at the beginning. I'm gonna say it again. When I say think bigger, I mean think bigger. Don't just focus on, oh, what you know, what's the hundred dollars I can make today? You know what? If you're doing this because you just want to make a hundred dollars a day, honestly, you are not gonna fulfill what you want too long term because you're gonna be having to regenerate that all the time. And so I really want this this work that each and every one of you are doing to be fruitful. That could be in corporate America, don't get me wrong, and that could be in your entrepreneurial business that could be in either of them what is it that you're doing to think bigger you know I'm how many of y'all I mean and I'm gonna use my corporate America ladies for a minute I mean some of y'all should be thinking about being the CEO of the company you work for that's how I'm thinking when I say think big yes it may not look like that right now but there is a direction to, to get there and that can happen listen I'm in an industry that is predominantly male in, in the industry and white male for that um, but I will say in this last Last couple of years there has just been a shift right like nothing before that I've seen in our industry where we are it's almost like coming out like gangbusters I know for my company we just announced our first managing partner which is like a CEO of uh, any other company she is a female been in you know our business for 15 years nobody thought I mean who thinks of this business oh you do it for 15 years you're gonna be the CEO of the, the company look listen Things are shifting and you got to think your mindset to think bigger. I'm going to challenge you to push your business goals like you never have before. So if you said, hey, I want to do a hundred thousand dollars in production this year, I really I want you to really think about increasing it by 50%. Can I get to 150,000? Can I get to 250,000? Can I hit a million dollar production mark? You know, I want you to challenge to think bigger when it comes to your money and where you're at. You know, again, this all comes with a process and you can learn that, right? You, if you don't know, listen, I'm, I'm an avid advocate of doing masterminds and small groups and different things like that. And the reason I say that is because number one, you don't have all the ideas. Sometimes you need other people in your corner that have bigger ideas and bigger thinking than you. Okay, so I'll use somebody selling jewelry for a second here. Okay, and, and again, this isn't at anybody specific. I'm just using that as an example. You can definitely go out, make jewelry, sell them one item at a time, those different things. But what if you were able to sell in bulk to some of these boutiques that are out here? Okay, we have a whole area in, in um, Orlando that, that specifically kind of focus on that. End. What if you did a hundred dollar order or a hundred um, set order to the to that boutique and then you got a different boutique these are the things starting to make you think bigger can you produce that can you do that type of mass production to think in bulk because ultimately if you're getting an order for a hundred at a time or 500 at a time or a thousand at a time are you really able to get the team in place to make those things happen okay um, I like to watch the show Shark Tank I don't know if any of you guys ever watched that show but one of the things I love about the way they come together when they t when they agree to take on somebody's product um, or service one of the things I really love about it is that they take it to a whole new level they're taking somebody's idea utilizing the resources from all of those people right so you know if, if it was me it'd say okay you know what I need I need to get coach Kareem for this I need to get coach Jen for this I need to get coach Shelly for this utilizing the resources for all those people right in order to make their product go from hey I'm doing 
you know, and sometimes they are there. I'm doing $100,000 in revenue. To, I'm doing a million dollars in revenue this year. And all it is sometimes is about getting the process in place. Sometimes you can't see it. You need somebody thinking bigger than you to get it in place for you in order to, to get that out there and get you to the goal that you're trying to accomplish. And so um, I see Colleen said, said, that's so true. And Alyssa said, love Shark Tank. Listen, it's just taking you to a different level of thinking. Thinking and, and really getting your business to where you want it to be okay duplicating yourself is very important in your business you got to find somebody that can do it just like you can do it um, the reason that you do that you find somebody faithful and committed to you okay but duplicating yourself is very very important because guess what as you start to think bigger and closing bigger deals and all those sort of things you need somebody back there able to run that production line just like you ran the production line and again I was using jewelry but guess what even if you're in a business, I'm in a services business. We have a production line. We, we call it our operating standard, our operating procedures. There is a literally a process to everything we do. When somebody comes in my door for the first time, there's a way we greet them. There's a way we write down things. There's a way we take notes. There is a way um, that they sit down and have an appointment with me. There is a follow-up process. Man, if I could tell you, that's one thing I've been adamant about in my business is and it will evolve because things will change. There's got to be a process for everything so that you are not the one always holding the bag, trying to figure out every detail to everything. It's onboarding, absolutely clean. And you've got to have it from start to finish. But you know, we take it a step further because that's a relationship we're trying to build for a lifetime. So, because we don't want to lose customers at all. That's my ultimate goal. And so if you're doing that, you've got to have a continual process. What's the follow-up for them? So we have a follow-up every three months, every six months, every year, depending on the type of client that we have. In addition to that, we have a referral process. Hey. Where are we going from there? Alyssa said, I have a fear of growing because I don't have a team. Alyssa, I think a lot of us have been in that fearful position, right? I am, I'm, I'm here to tell you, I've been in that fearful position for two reasons. One, I was just fear, fearful of being successful. What happens if I make it out here and what's gonna look, what's it gonna look like next? But then you're right. What is the team that you have in place to accomplish that? And I'm gonna tell you, you know, for, I'm using Alyssa here because she's talking, but I think all of us, we have to have a team in place. Um, and again, it may not be a team that right now you can pay for those sort of things. You've got to have a team in place so that can help. I know for me, when I first started, um, I used my family a lot, right? So I had two people that were pretty decent in admin in the beginning. And so I utilized them. Hey, could you do this for me and I, I paid them a little something or I would do something for them um, but then eventually I had to hire on somebody in my own staff somebody that was 100% dedicated to me every single day and I say this because you have to do it not only professionally but I had to do it personally too I'm going through a transition in life like I said for those of you who follow me on Facebook um, and with the, the coaches here I've taken on um, my siblings so that's another four or five people living in my house that wasn't living there before as you can imagine that creates its own chaotic environment so right now that's what I'm doing I'm trying to step back and create the right team in place so it runs like a well-oiled machine because guess what I don't know about you but I don't have time to be stressed out every day Okay, so <laughs> that's not going to be my, my testimony. Oh, I made it through the struggle of stressing out every day. That's not my testimony. I declare that in the name of Jesus. So, so I'm saying to you, I had to look at my own self and say, all right, I need somebody to help at the house. I need somebody to make sure the house is clean once a week. I need these kids to have their own set daily routine because they need a routine that they're confident with. Okay, so I, I'm able to do that at home. I'm just as able to do that in my business. Hey, I now have another assistant. So now I have two assistants and I've got two other advisors that work in my office. So again, we all have set things that we have to put in place in order to make that happen. Here's one of the things I'll tell you, the hardest part of this or the, the, the part I feel most people maybe drop off some sometimes is that you don't take the time to do your planning. Okay, um, real quick, I'm going to read Colleen's message here. She said, truly believe that there is a time. No team is necessary so we can be, be fully aware of the needs in our company. Then we can properly have, um, um, hire. So, you know, she's, she's basically saying, you know, you want to hire the right people, the proper people. And so when it becomes necessary, you can do it without no team, um, but you have to definitely have to have the right process in place to be able to do that. And so I say that to say, 
it takes planning. Sometimes we just don't take the time to step back and plan that, you know, and, and again, I'm so thankful for coaches. I, again, I was on a, I was in luncheon with coach Colleen and even on the call with coach Jennifer the other day. And, um, and they had to remind me, Hey, you know what, step back and get these proper things um, in alignment um, in, in the house, because this will help you do X, Y, and Z. And the thing is, I know it. I know what I've done it before. We've done it many times before. But again, I needed that refresher to say, guess what? Uh, and I, that's what I love about these coaches because we lean on each other for our expertise. Because guess what? I do. I need to put this in the, the right person in place to help after school, all those different things. So when it comes to your business, the same assessment has to happen. I have a 30 minute planning session with my team every day. Okay. We meet every Thursday for about two hours to plan out marketing and things like that that we're doing. That is a consistent thing that happens every day in my daily routine. Uh, because guess what? They need instruction from me. We all need to kind of come together to collaborate on what we're working on. So we need updates and those sort of things. And then on Thursdays, like I said, when we get together, we're planning out, hey, this is what's happening next month. So that nothing falls through the cracks, nothing falls behind. And we've got a regular process in place all the time to make those happen. So I hope that helped you, Alyssa. Um, you know, definitely can sidebar or, or definitely do some coaching on the side with that if you want to email in. Um, we, you know, they can definitely get you set up with some coaching if you want some help in that area. So duplicate yourself, going for bigger contracts. I also wanted to just throw that out there. Um, a lot of people don't realize services that you offer, things that you offer, there are government contracts out there um, or even corporate contracts out there that will allow you to think bigger. I think of, you know, I've, I've given the example of a client I have that does painting. I'm going to give you another example of a client I have that does, um, who's cutting grass, right? Cutting grass, not hard, did it residentially. Um, we had a conversation um, about him uh, doing some government contracts with regard to the city um, as well as some corporations. So I just asked him, hey, have you ever reached out to, um, you know, the city does bidding for who cuts the grass, you know, the medians, those sort of things. And as well as, um, you know, there's a lot of corporations around here that do the same thing. Have you reached out to any of them to see what your opportunities are? And, um, and you know, it didn't happen overnight, but again, we've probably been working together about five years. In that five year business, oops, Colleen said it's froze. If you can hear me, just put a thumbs up. Y'all can put a thumbs up if you hear me or just let me know that you can hear me. Am I still frozen? All right, double check with me here. All right, so there we go, I got a hand up, so we shouldn't be frozen anymore, okay. So last, again, last thing I wanted to say is going for bigger contracts. There's definitely some things that you can use um, or utilize out there for your business in reference to contracts. There are many corporations, there are many government um, contracts out there that allow bidding um, in your city or in your state for um, contracts that are much larger for production for you. So I wanna say that um, to each and every one of you because sometimes you don't even think about that. When I sat down with this gentleman to talk about, you know, cutting grass, you know, anybody can do that, I'm sure. Um, when I started talking to him about, hey, you, you do it well, we've got great contracts already. How, why haven't you thought about um, taking that to the next level and maybe bidding on the city contract? We winded up getting the city contract. Um, and man, have I seen him, you know, explode from him and the five employees he had in the beginning to now he has a little over 60 employees. I mean, he's running a very successful, um, you know, mid size business we call it now mid-sized business for us is about two and a half to five million dollars so he's really starting to run a very strong um, um, business and practice so I just want you to think bigger that's all I'm saying in that in that last section there all right ladies so I know I've covered quite a bit today I want to kind of wrap this up with um, asking for your questions um, we'll give that a few minutes if you guys have direct questions you can do it in the Facebook um, group or you can do it right here on the group I'll be happy to answer them um, Alyssa wrote MBE gives us opportunity to win the bids um, thank you so much Alyssa I'm glad that you guys uh, like this today again this is 2019 and I don't I don't I don't want anybody to walk through this year like they did last year. I want us to be thinking on a whole new level when it comes to 2019 and I really want you to put yourself out there and stretch yourself to a whole new goal. 
God's doing something new in this season. So I really want to make sure y'all step up and, and respond. If I can say it that way, this isn't my work. This is, this is his work. I say all the time. So I step up and really, really evaluate where you at and where you want to be going in the next year. I gave you some great nuggets. I really hope you'll utilize them. I know some of you guys will watch the replay. So if you want to ask some questions in the chat, um, I watch it pretty regularly. So if you want to ask some direct questions, just at me in the chat and I'll make sure to, to get back with you. Um, in addition to that, you know, like I said, we have the coaching available for each and every one of you. Um, please make sure you're taking advantage of that. It is, it's really, uh, we, you know, you guys are elite and premium members. We want you to get the best of the best and the cream of the crop when it comes to your time, your energy, and your effort. And so we're here to help you be successful in your business. Utilize our resources. Utilize what we've been through to really push you to the next level. Last but not least, if you have not yet, I want to remind you that dominate is coming up i don't know if you guys saw the commercial that came out it is it is amazing okay i it, you know there is such a great expectation for what dominate is going to do this year we have an incredible lineup of speakers including Jay Boleyn that will be coming in. Um, but literally, there's a ton of speakers coming in for this event on March 1st. So I want to make sure, go out, grab your tickets. There's only a couple of VIP tickets left. So I really want to make sure that you guys have access to that and get it. Use your discount code um, for those. If you don't know, we'll put it in the group chat. It's going to be amazing. So I just want to remind you, there is also some, still some sponsorship opportunities available too. So reminding you guys of that and help us spread the word. Man, I, I the room's going to be packed. It's going to be filled. But I just want to make sure that the people that you personally know, that you know need to be in there, um, get their tickets early and that they're sitting in their seat. So if, if, take a time. Definitely get the word out there. Um, Coach Colleen says we are halfway full. So listen, we, we still got what, like 60 days? We're already halfway full. So that, that tells you we're going to be sold out. Um, and I'm truly going to be amazing. So make sure that you grab your tickets if you haven't already. Um, VIP tickets, man, I'm gonna, if each and every one of y'all can grab a VIP ticket, y'all are the elite and premiums. I know y'all can, can do it. I want y'all to make sure every one of y'all has a ticket for this event, um, specifically for the VIPs, because you're going to sit, um, honestly, you're going to sit at the feet of some great people uh, to give you the right nuggets and information for, for this year. So I'm excited. The coaches are excited. Uh, we have cleared our calendars. We are all y'all's that weekend. So I'm excited for what's going to happen. Looking forward to seeing each and every one of you for um, 2019. I definitely want you all to be prosperous. Make sure um, if you need things, reach out to the, the coaching team and let us know so we can help you. Thank you all for your time today. And um, I appreciate y'all being on at lunchtime. Hopefully you got some good nuggets. You, your bellies are full and you are ready to finish out your day. Thanks so much. You guys have a blessed day.